YouTube, Jacob, Broken Jacob, and Kyle again. So today, we're gonna show you how to replace the tracks on this brand new Polaris Atlas. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right guys, and we're back. So again, today we are going to show you guys how to replace these nice new beefy tracks on the Atlas. This is the brand new cleaner for Polaris hitting the market. So um, definitely a full redesign. If you guys wanna know a little bit more, see a little bit more up close and personal between the comparisons, make sure you guys check out our other videos. Jacob kind of explains to you guys the difference between the MX-8 tracks, MX-6 tracks, and these new tracks. So today's video is pretty simple. We just wanna show you guys how to take them off and replace them. You guys can tell on these new one, on this new cleaner, it's got actual, we're gonna call them track guards. And basically it comes up over the top part of the track so that you reduce the risk of those tracks sliding off the gearbox assembly on the top. So definitely nice that it keeps everything in place and working efficiently. So if you wanna try to do it, sure. I know you only got one hand. Right so now. all you gotta do, <laughs> lift that cleaner up on its side, okay? All you gotta do to start. And the bottom of the track is nice and bendy, okay? As you know, Greg that works here, he likes to say that things are bendy. So what you gotta do is grab it and just pull, okay? Over this first wheel, and then I want you to take it over that second wheel, okay? And then what we're gonna do is turn this cleaner around, and you're gonna kinda groove it around, what do you call it, the guard? Yeah. So the guard, around the guard, and it literally just pops right off. Super simple, nice and easy, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it back around, but first, I'm gonna show you how beefy these things are. So as you can see here on camera number 2A, right here, is that good, Daniel? Is that a good spot? Yes, thank you. Okay, that was Daniel telling me where to put this track. He is also my brother. We're gonna input a face of Daniel on the screen right now. Boom, there's Daniel. Everybody say hi to Daniel. Like, subscribe, support Daniel. So now we're back, here's the tracks. So these things are beefy, they're solid. So if you remember the MXA tracks, they were not as thick as this, they don't, I mean, they would kind of break sometimes. So these are sweet, so I really like these tracks. So again, I'm gonna flip back over. This is what it's gonna look like on the outside. It's more like your all-terrain tire. So it's kind of, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty sweet. It works on pebble plaster and I think tile. Um, so all I'm gonna do now, now back to camera number one. So put them back on, we have brand new ones. You're just gonna put it over one tire in its spot. And these are a little more difficult than the MX-8 because they are so big, you have to get them right in their spot. The MX-8 had a little bit of give. So I'm gonna put over the big wheel and now I'm gonna put over the other big wheel. And then all you're gonna do is stretch it completely around, which they're bendy. Again, bendy Greg. So stretch it all the way around. Now, if you see here, here where, should we, where should we go? Right here? Yeah, yeah, it's stuck on these guards. So all you're gonna do is kind of push on each guard and it pops right into place. So realistically, super easy. I mean, that was really like a 30 second fix when we weren't talking the whole time. <laughs> so, I mean, real, you guys can easily do this at home. We're gonna have links to buy them down below. Um, super simple when you guys have to replace these yourselves. 30 second fix, get in, get out get that Atlas working again. So again, Polaris Atlas. Yeah, brand new track. So obviously you guys won't be able to use the tracks on an MX-8. So if you have an older cleaner, it's not going to work, vice versa. These are brand new specific to these cleaners. Um, I believe the same thing with the gearbox. The thing's so new, we haven't even gotten a full parts list yet. So yep. we, <laughs> make sure you guys keep checking back on the site. We'll have all that thing, uh, all those laid out for you guys. Definitely. So you guys can see them all. But, uh, as of right now, we, we were informed that everything is going to be new and, and not swappable back just for the, for the purpose of, yeah. uh, of being a new cleaner for it. So, yeah. yeah, really appreciate you guys watching. I want to show you guys how to do a quick fix on this new cleaner with the new tracks. So make sure you guys check out all those links in the description. Make sure you guys hit that like button and please be sure to subscribe. We're going to have a ton more videos coming your way on all these new products hitting the market and more quick fixes for this cleaner. So. Definitely. I'm Kyle from Eat Pool Supply. And I'm Jacob. We'll see you next time.